now that we have a total of six prime implicants, we have to decide which ones are essential. So this is the last stage of Queen McCluskey algorithm. Remember that the first stage is to find prime implicant, and this stage is to find essential prime implicant. So we need to find the essential and then get the minimum number of it. So what do we do? We tabulate all the six prime implicant in this case that we obtained by combining mean terms and implicants just now. We put the prime implicant as row and then we list out all the mean terms that we have to cover. In this case, from 0, 1 until 10 and 14. And then we match each prime implicant with the mean term that constitute the prime implicant. For example, A bar C bar D is made of mean term 1 and mean term 5. How do we know that? We have to recall to our previous steps. We are referring to this one. And it is mean term 1 and 5. So we do the same to the other prime implicant. This one is 5 and 7. A bar BC is 6 and 7 and so on. So obviously, the last variable that you have in the prime implicant, you will be covering more mean term. For example, over here, prime implicant with only two variables will cover four mean term. The purpose why we tabulate this in a table like this is because we want to find essential prime implicant. So what is the definition of essential prime implicant? A prime implicant is essential if there is at least one mean term that is covered only by this prime implicant. For example, let us look at this uh, prime implicant. You can see that mean term 9 is covered only by this prime implicant. The other prime implicant does not cover this mean term. So B bar C bar is an essential prime implicant, meaning we cannot omit this prime implicant in our final solution. Okay, you can see that this mean term is also covered by one prime implicant, which is this one. But we do it step by step, meaning we are going to do for B bar C bar first. So we know that mean term 9 is only covered by prime implicant B bar C bar. We will take B bar C bar because of that. And because we take this prime implicant, we also take this mean term, this mean term, mean term 0 and 1, and also mean term 8. Okay, this means B bar C bar already cover this mean term and this mean term and also this mean term. So we cross out this column, meaning we want to see what is left after we consider or we make it compulsory that we are going to put B bar C bar in our final solution. Is there any more mean term that is not covered? Definitely there are. You see there are many more mean terms that is not covered. But let us see, can we cover any of this by taking the next essential prime implicant? So in the next step, we will have a smaller table where mean term 0, 1, 8, and 9 will be removed. And also, of course, the row containing essential prime implicant B bar C bar will also be removed. We will have a smaller table in the next stage.